If your Hisense Google TV is stuck in boot loop, it only shows logo, then turns off and keeps restarting, then let me show you some troubleshooting steps to fix your Hisense TV that's stuck on logo or keeps rebooting. If your Hisense TV keeps rebooting and doesn't turn on, then the first thing that you should do is cold boot or soft reset your TV. You can cold boot your TV by unplugging its power cord then hold down your TV's power button for about 30 seconds. Then you should wait for at least 20 to 30 minutes, but it's better if you can leave it overnight or as long as you can. This can also happen if your TV is getting insufficient power. So in that case, you can change your TV's power supply. For example, if it's plugged into an accession cord, plug it into a wall outlet or change the outlet. And in the meantime, you should also inspect the power cable for physical damage and, if possible, try a different cable. If this didn't help, then this can also happen because of a faulty remote. And to verify that, you can take out your remote's batteries and see if your TV works normally after that. If your TV still won't turn on and keeps rebooting or is stuck in the Hisense logo, then now we will check if there's any HDMI devices or USB devices that's connected to our TV. If there's any, then unplug all of them and try booting your TV. If this didn't work either, the next step will be trying to boot our TV into safe mode. And to boot your TV into safe mode, first shut it down properly by unplugging your TV, then plug it back in and turn it on. Now, as soon as the Google TV logo appears, you'll need to hold the volume down button and hopefully your TV will boot up in safe mode. If you were able to get into safe mode, then you can either uninstall any recently installed apps or even better, factory reset your TV from the system settings. In case your TV won't even make it to Google TV logo, then one thing that you can do is reset your Hisense TV if it comes with a physical reset button. Unfortunately, some models won't have it. In that case, what will work is manually updating your TV's firmware using a USB drive. And to get that, you'll need to contact Hisense support, and they will send you the update file within 24 hours. And that's all for this video, let us know which step helped, and if this was indeed helpful, then you can let us know by dropping a like and subscribing, and I wish you good luck.